By the time I was 23 years old, I had multiple arrests, theft, assault, and I paid a price for it. This experience has changed my life. It's changed my life because I dealt with my own battles of hard times and depression, and I've been down, I've been up, I've been down again, uh, and I've had this crazy whirlwind of a life, but to live it multiple times with other people um, through their ups and downs um, was pretty amazing. By the end of the very first day of shooting, I'm driving in my truck back home. <laughs> I'm, I wasn't laughing like this. I was um, drained. I was completely drained. Emotionally drained. And physically, um, it takes a lot, I think, to make us physically fatigued. But that, when, it, when it's emotional fatigue, that is draining, and the emotional fatigue was something that I didn't, uh, I didn't count on and no one didn't quite know because, again, we're shooting this for the very first time. When you have an intervention and it's real and people want change, they need change, they want hope, they want anything other than what's happening, uh, it's tough. There's a lot of tears and there's a lot of crying, and you're right there. So, do we take it home? Did I take it home? <laughs> yeah, I took it home every night. But I got to tell you, it was one of the most it was one of the most fascinating experiences and journeys. We all you hear that word often. The journey. It's the journey. The journey was fascinating because it was a fascinating look into um, an extreme human condition where we meet these people and they are down 